and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Abia Sonia, and today on my diaspora journey, I've got a very, very important girl. You know, I always bring you guys, you know, sweet guests, guests that are so relevant that we impart you so much that you'll be able to take action almost immediately if you want to. So today I've got with me the beautiful Fajira. So I want you to introduce yourself because I don't think I'll be able to, to do a good job at it. Okay. Thank you so much, Abby, for having me on your channel. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in to watch this program. Just as you can see on the screen, my name is Fajira. And I run the YouTube channel called Fajira's Concepts. So the YouTube channel came about like a lot of inspiration because Fajira is a multi-talented human being. Sometimes I just say I wonder how God created me. But I'm so grateful to God that all he has given to me, I'm using it to impart others, which is why we are here today. So if you want to migrate to the UK and everything that will help you settle in the UK successfully, Fajira's concept is a short sure channel for you to follow as well. Just like Abby as well is also bringing up a lot of us here on this channel to talk you guys through life in the UK. So yeah, it's me. <laughs> nice to meet you all. And also do share this video as well. Subscribe to Abby's channel and let this video reach a wider audience. Thank you. Wow. Interesting. You know what? You have a pro in the house. You would know. Thank you so much, C. So today, we are going to be talking about leveraging your diaspora experience to create a positive impact and generate income. So if you know you're not following Fajira concept, what are you doing? How? Oh, how come? Just, you know, run to our channel when you have finished watching this and subscribe because she is loaded with content. Sometimes I just wonder, why okay. is this woman doing it? These are what people charge for. And she yeah. do it free of charge. You know, she's a mother as well. She's a wife. She did not add that to it. Okay. <laughs> so she's a busy, busy yeah. woman. Yeah. So thank you so much, Fajira, for all you do. And you know me, I love to know, know people's story because I just feel we can see the glorious thing you're doing. We can see all of those things. But a lot of work goes into it. There's a story behind whatever it is that we do in life. And if you don't know those stories, you will not really appreciate the glory the person is carrying so if you don't mind tell us a little bit you know about you how long you've been in the uk and what prompted you to start your channel you know okay so um basically basically i'm from um nigeria by bet like you all know and i came to the uk to study i think about 12 years ago so uh, studies actually brought me to the UK with the intention of going back, which I actually did. Then economy, everything was okay. And I later came back to the UK as well after I spent a year and six months back in Nigeria. So like Abby said, I'm a mother of three beautiful children and I do a lot of things. And what actually prompted me to start this journey on YouTube two years ago, about two years ago, not really two years ago, was... Um, I've been helping a lot of people to come to the UK through studies because that was how I came to the UK. And from 2021 to date, I can't like I have actually lost count of the number of people I have actually ass assisted in moving to the UK to study and to stay. So I've been doing this on the background for a very long time. And I thought that I haven't really reached a lot of people that would really need that service. Yeah. which I've been giving to people around me and from rec uh, recommendations, which that was how I started my YouTube channel. Initially, when I started my YouTube channel, because I'm a baker, I'm a chef. <laughs> I started with my baking skills, my chef, and my baking skills, my cooking skills and everything. That was because I was uh, pregnant there and I didn't really want people to know I was pregnant. So I just wanted the channel to get started before I go into what i'm doing now so uh it was during covid you know how covid treated a lot of us we became boring i'm a workaholic right from bed i've been working a lot so at any point i'm not doing anything it looks like i'm in a prison so i needed something to be doing out there even if there was a lockdown we couldn't go out to see our neighbors and so on. so that was how i started the youtube journey yeah thank you 
Okay, thank you so much, Fajira. You know, we have something in common. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like if you are not doing something, what's wrong? So yeah. what's wrong? <laughs> I, I'm a workaholic, to be honest. Like, something. <laughs> so I, I get where you're coming from. <laughs> that yeah. resonates with me. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, sis. So you've been doing this on the corner, but I'm just wondering what evil prompted you? Because sometimes when I'm giving information out, some people are like, oh, you're very generous, you know, yeah. um, giving information. I know people odd information, you know. So mm -hmm. what prompted you, not just helping the people that you know on a one-to-one -one basis, now you're helping people on a global scale. Yeah. What prompted you to come out with this generosity and say, okay, fine, let me just put it out there so I don't keep repeating myself because I just oh. want to put it out there so that people can go back and see this. What prompted you to do that? Okay, Abby, just like you said, like, you know, it's like you're telling somebody something over and over. Oh, you do this. Let's say A comes, you're telling A one thing. The same thing you're going to tell B, C. You just, you keep going, like repeating yourself over and over. So what prompted me was when I started getting a lot of people that wanted to migrate. And I was like, okay, if I start putting out the videos, these are the requirements, these are this. It's easy for me to just do the consultation through the video. Just send them the video to watch the video. And when they watch the video, they know the things to get ready for you to be able to assist them. Instead of telling A the same thing, B comes. So it's like, uh, it's taking so much of my time at the same time. And I've got three young children I'm raising. So that was how I was like, okay, you know what? Just put out the content there. Just put it out there. Just put it out there. So even if the people that uh, are within your reach have got the information there are people that don't even have access to you that don't even have access to me so the easiest way they can get this help is for them to go watch the videos and get them get their documents ready and so themselves some people have got i've come across a lot of people that with my videos alone they were able to migrate on their own without even me physically or virtually having to have a section with them yeah. just following yeah. my content was able to make them relocate to the uk and like you know i'm basically talking about the uk because the uk system is a system that i do really understand it's easier mm. for me to to guide people and everyone who have put through the uk process have come out successfully than talking about mm. canada uh, Australia. like uh, i think my focus is on the uk because there are so mm. many testimonies that have been coming from there what I understand, I came in as a student, like I, like you know, I've passed through the skilled worker, I've passed through different route before we have, we had, we got to where we are today that we don't need mm -hmm. visa anymore to stay in the UK. So, I advise basically based on my experiences and the experiences of people mm -hmm. that I have assisted through the journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, no, that is so that's so gracious of you to, to, to do that and spend your time to record. I know that to record, to edit, and the put, I know your, your content is so rich. Thank so you. I'm not even surprised when you said, when you said someone used only your content and they were able to come, I'm surprised yeah. because they are quite detailed. They are quite um, valid and very, very current as well, you know, that you put out there. So yeah, I'm not surprised at all that that, that happened to, to someone. So yeah, thank you so much for thank doing you. that. I will just keep saying thank you because I know <laughs> how much of that, that it will take you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have to say that. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. a lot of us, if you're out there today that go, oh, this diaspora thing, there is a lot of stress. Let me tell you something. Your experience is, is valid. Your yeah. experience, someone else, if not going through it now, may go through it yeah. sometime soon. So if you know that you can do this, just take inspiration from Fajira. It might not be immigration route. It yeah. might be maybe how to write a good CV that oh, can yeah. get you that job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, there's some people that CV, you see their CV, like, no, this is not supposed to be here. Move this yeah. there and move that there. If you know you're good at it, then do it. If you know also, okay, maybe interview skills, there are some people in interview, they just freeze whatever your experience is please let's not be selfish let's help one another to move from one stage to another you know like fragira is doing so i'm doing all of these things to get people to know that your experience is not only for you it can yeah. also be to help other people yeah. as well that's the way we are giving back to the community not only by do donating money or contributing money you can give your resources your knowledge and your time as well so i'm yeah. going to move on to the next one now 
you know, um, what steps do you normally take to ensure that your content is valid, is 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 current? Because I'm like, Fajira, this news just dropped. I've not even read some of the news. It's right on your page. How do you do it? How do you do that? Okay, what I do is basically research, to be honest with you. Like um, I do, uh, will I say a daily research? Mm. I do daily research. It's something that I, I sit on top. And sometimes I, after my research, sometimes I'm even not able to film a video because of family, commitment, business-wise and everything. But uh, Abby, to be honest, I do my research on daily basis because like we all know that the UK law is a law that could, you could just wake up in the morning to see something different. So if you're not updated, then you'll be fooling yourself on your YouTube channel, telling people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I would just basically say it's daily research, like daily research. Yeah, that's what I do mm -hmm. today. My contents are up to date. And I'm actually sharing, you know, the platform where we are is a platform is, either, you know, the platform where we are is a platform that if you're not sure of what you're talking about, you could land yourself in trouble. So you sure. have to be very sure of what you're talking about. And the only way you can do that is for you to do your, uh, and the only way you can do that is for you to do your research and do a proper research and come out and speak about whatever you want to speak about. So that's what I do, Abby. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm just wondering, you know, how people to really appreciate. Is it to just sit down there and go, um, okay, I've watched it. You will not like you will not subscribe. Please tell us, like, do you invest in in creating those content? Just give us a rough estimate for it. Okay, like, uh, you know, we are filming this video now and uh, we are filming it in the mm -hmm. evening and I could only make myself available in the evening because uh, I yeah. already have that commitment with you. But basically, mm -hmm. I work in the midnight because of my kids. If I'm filming mm -hmm. during the day, they would disturb me. So I put in so much time I film at midnight when they are sleeping, so nobody that so my my content can remain professional because I wouldn't want to be watching a video where somebody is telling me about how to better my life and the child is coming, hey mommy, mommy. So I wouldn't want that because mm. if we are talking about the relocation, it's something that people are very serious about, you know. So yes. I put in so much time during the midnight. Sometimes I bash film, like a few days ago, wow. I already filmed three videos. Wow. Yeah, I, I could use up to two, three hours to film those videos. Now, editing is a major thing. Filming the video is not really too much. The, the part that is much is the research and the editing of the video. Yes. But you need to do the research to understand what you're talking about. And you have to film the video. But after filming the video is the editing. So I could spend up to two hours plus editing one video. Wow. After I had already spent maybe an hour plus to do the research, another two, three hours to bash film different aspects of my research, then maybe another mm -hmm. two. So I would say maybe a video could be up to five hours investment. Yeah. Wow. If wow. I'm working in the office for five hours, maybe I could end more or end less. Mm -hmm. It all depends on how the video goes. Some videos could even, you could end more, like having to spend that five hours, putting in that five hours into one video. Um, yeah. So it's yeah. All depends on the views and the sharing and everything, which is why we already, uh, which is why we always encourage our beautiful viewers to support us by just that like and sharing. Is it has a very long way to go. It has a very long mm. way to go. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Nigeria, for for answering them. Did you hear that? Pretty much five hours of that time. If you she was working, that, that do any coupons, you know. They are yeah. giving all the time. Yeah. To yeah. help people, that is so so generous of you. Now, for someone that wants to start a YouTube channel and say, "Okay, fine, I want to start." This people have inspired me. I want to show people how to do something that will better their life and all of those stuff. How would you advise them to to remain consistent and to be patient to grow their channel and things like that? Because you you've leveraged on your diaspora experience, you'll be able to make positive impact yeah. and you're moving on you're not stopping you're just carrying on and yeah. i know it's not easy to be consistent for two years it's not easy at all yeah. so I, what, what would you advise someone like that that wants to also leverage on their experience okay just um to say um you are unstoppable 
Whatever mm. you put your mind to do, do it. I'll give you a story of how I started my channel. I couldn't even buy a tripod. I've got one. I've got like four or five seated now on my table. But when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't have a tripod. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was around April and the weather was still bright. So what I did, I watched a, a lady called C.C. Yemi because she was, I don't yeah. know if she was And she yeah. talked about how she stuck books at her window to film her first video. Because uh -huh. she didn't have a tripod. Immediately, I finished watching that video. I managed to get books and everything, put my camera on it by my window so I could get that bright reflection. Mm. So that was how I started. It took me a long time for me to like get the first tripod. And maybe mm -hmm. ring light came not so long. So what I would say is that don't wait until you have everything to mm. film your first video. You could give your camera to somebody to hold for you and you just introduce your channel, what you want to talk about and what you want your viewers to, to expect and how you think the channel you're, you're, you're creating is going to impact other people and put out the video. But I know sometimes when we do that and we don't get the response we want, we get discouraged. YouTube mm -hmm. like, is a very funny place that you could put out a video and in the next one minute, the video is at let's say 10K, 15k or there about but you could put out another video that you think is this is a very good content people are waiting to hear this and you get a hundred views so that's mm -hmm. how you talk. so the thing is you ha just have to remain focused when i mean focus you have to remain focused and don't put your mind to anything from the start because that's what mm -hmm. has led a lot of people like, because that's what I've made a lot of people to give up on YouTube. Just so uh, think about the impact you're going to make in the community where you are and in the wider audience and focus mm -hmm. on that. When you focus on that, then the growth will come. When I say growth, mm -hmm. organic growth, there is nothing mm -hmm. as sweet as organic growth. I remember sometimes like I get, I put a video and one video could give me up to two, 3,000 subscribers. That is called organic growth. So I would say focus on the help you want to render. Focus on your generosity. Focus on the impact you want to create in your environment or the audience you want to reach out to and just keep doing it. And don't put out a video like you're putting out a video once in a week. Try as much as you can to put out up to two, three videos a week. I have experienced it. There was a time I became ill and I wasn't really putting out content like that. And by the time I stepped putting out content, I've already lost some of my, uh, my, well, I say subscribers and viewers and all of that because videos were not really going as much as I expected and as much as it was going before I fell ill. So I'm not saying you cannot be ill, but try and be consistent. Be focused on the help you want to do. Just keep doing your research. And don't care about uh, your English. Don't care about uh, what people would think. You just focus on what you're doing. That's what has helped me a lot. And the sky will be your starting point, not your limit. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Fajira. What I hear you say is that focus on the value. Yeah. Focus on giving value. Don't just think about money, money, money. Yeah. What will I get? Just focus on the value. Be consistent. Yeah. You know, be consistent in serving the best. Whether your English is bad, whether your English is good, it doesn't matter. As long as you're able to make sense. Communicate. Communicate. <laughs> That's all we need. It's the information we are looking out for, not your English. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And don't focus on, on all this glam look of, oh, how many? I'm wearing the same clothes over and over. It doesn't matter. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you know, there are people that do comedy skits and they wear the same clothes over and over again. Yeah. If you yeah. just want to, it doesn't really matter, you know, what the, uh, if, you are, if you have that many clothes or not. That's not what it's all about. She's talking about value. Focus on giving the value. Focus on giving the value and be consistent with it. Stick with whatever you're consistent with. If it's once every week, stick to it. If it's twice every week, stick to it. But remember, what you put in is what you're going to get out of it. That's the bottom line. So now I noticed that, you know, you've managed to diversify about the people that you're helping. 
you are no longer helping individuals. Slowly, you are helping businesses as well. And so, even saying that, self, I know you've, when I was doing my coaching program, you've actually, um, you know, done an interview interview with me. And um, regarding that, that was very generous of you. But I know now you are helping more businesses, you know. How do you manage to diversify your, your services? Okay. Uh, as you know, I'm a consultant to two organizations. And apart from that, people watch my content and they, they try, they get in touch with me to collaborate with me. Sometimes they are paid. Sometimes we just do normal collab and all of that. But yeah. now the things they are coming for are basically things that I've been doing. So it's not like something really, really new. So when they come to me for business, we I read the agreement and everything. And if it's something I like, and I think we impact my audience. I don't just take up, I've turned down a lot of businesses as well. But my main focus is bringing in something that will help my viewers, that will help my audience. I don't know if you watched uh, an advert I did recently for later back. They help, like yeah. an app that you can use to send money overseas. And it's yeah. been a very fantastic app. So with that kind of business, it's easy for me to bring it to my audience and share with them because this is something most of them are thinking of. Um, bringing their money from Naira to pounds and also from pounds to Naira and other currencies, you know. So I've managed to, to look at the value of the businesses that are coming for me and select the ones that will impact positively yeah. on my viewers and mm -hmm. audience and go for it. So it's not being an easy tax, but uh, like, you know, I, I work a workaholic person. We always have a way of, <laughs> of balancing things, which is what I've been doing that's helped me as well. well that's one unique thing about you, Fajira. You always talk about your values, your values. See, yeah. don't say you want to be popular, you want to be an influencer on yeah. YouTube or any social media, and yeah. then they will change your values. Yeah. Remember who you are. If you pay attention yeah. to what she has repeatedly said, she said, I've turned down some businesses yeah. and I've stuck with the ones that are in alignment with my values and also the ones that will positively impact my viewers. So these viewers, they come when you give them values. Yeah. You go and align yourself with what you're not supposed to be aligned with just because you want to leverage to make some income. You will lose them first thing that you even gain them. Yeah. So I'm just saying it out there that Yes, we all want to be able to gain some extra income and things like that in the process when you've started on this journey. But please, let's not be greedy. Remember your values. I will say it again. Your values. <laughs> work Very with people. To be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work with people that align with your values. is very, very important. So, Fajira, I don't want to take much of your time because I know, I know that, <laughs> you know, you are, you, you've got something to do. But my final question is, how do you manage to juggle parents and then being a business owner and then doing other things and then doing your recording at night? How do you manage? Do you have some support system? How do you manage to do this? Well, thank you very much. I would say God has been a very support uh, system and also my husband. My husband is um, a factor because I think uh, the time I spend with him have been stolen so many times by my businesses, by my YouTube videos, by my collaborations. So there is no, if it was not, if he was not a man that is really understanding, I don't think I would have been on this platform. So I just want to say thank you to my husband. He's been a very supporting, when I mean support, as I speak to you now, he's with my son, so he won't run in here just to hold him until I'm done with this video. So another thing I do, is just to make sure that uh, I prioritize everything and my family is number one. I make sure I do everything for my kids. Everything I'm supposed to do as a mother, I make sure I do. Then comes business. So I prioritize it. So it depends on the need. And most of the times that I happen to work from home, I'm working for my own company as a consultant. And I also work in two other organizations as well so i try to prioritize like i would say prioritizing everything is what has brought me this far there are certain mm -hmm. times that business came first 
because of what was going to come out of it. And my husband was there to help me concentrate on the children while I focus on the business. There are certain times that um, uh, the business, uh, the children comes first. And maybe mm -hmm. I must have had a video that I have edited and kept. I just put it out there while I'm concentrating on my children. So when you watch that video, you will think it's a video I just filmed, but it's a video I had filmed and saved on in my own listed. So, but for now, mm -hmm. I've not really been doing a lot of that. In the past, I used to have at least two videos in my own listed. So when mm -hmm. those challenges comes, I just put out the videos to keep the business running mm -hmm. and focus yeah. on my family at the same time. Yeah. So one yeah. thing I would advise you, if you're watching this video and you're thinking of starting your own YouTube channel, it's a very good thing for you to do. But at the same time, don't forget to bash film and put some videos in unlisted. Someone advised me this, I think a year plus ago, and I'm grateful that I listened to that advice because it has helped me a lot, especially when the family demand is really high. At least I've got yeah. one or two videos to keep that week going. Yeah. Without having to come on the screen to film a video, or maybe I do my screen recording, run into the car and voice over it, and put it out there and focus on my family because I know in as much as my family needs my attention, my viewers, my subscribers also need my information to enable their process go mm. through smoothly. So that's one of the things I've done and I just keep doing it. And I would advise everyone out there to always uh, have a backup. Have a backup mm. video that you can use for the week, even if you're unable to pay attention to your YouTube channel, your Facebook, your Instagram, or anywhere you choose to advertise your content, just have a backup that you can always put out there while you're busy doing other stuff. Yeah. Thank you very much, Bajira. God bless your husband, you know. In, in, in that spra, it's not a place where you can easily say, I've got someone helping me, I've got a maid, or I've got, you know, it's not, it's not like that, it's different. So yeah. you're doing that, even more kudos to him. And yeah, thank you very much, sir. We, we appreciate your help. Now, Bajira is able to give us valuable content every yeah. week. <laughs> without the children <laughs> without imparting the children so for yeah. someone that would say okay fine i've been doing this thing for a while i don't know when i'm going to start generating income how does that work because i don't even know okay all right we youtube i don't know if the, uh, if the standard has changed now but uh mm -hmm. as i when i got monetized on youtube <laughs> i mean you, you you don't want to hear how much i earn in a month so i found <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear yeah, because I see a lot of people that started their journey. It was really small. But, but, ah, and they just, I started from scratch. Mm -hmm. And and I, I am really grateful to God that I had that experience. I think YouTube tested my patience. When I mean patience, it tested it because, and another thing is, I, did, I didn't start YouTube because I wanted to make money. That was what saved me. I had some friends that started because they had YouTube used to pay thousands of pounds, blah, blah, blah. And they did, they, they fell along the line. They didn't even continue because it was just the money. And when they faced the reality, <laughs> they got to understand that YouTube doesn't pay like that. So yeah. now for you to be monetized on YouTube, you need to have a thousand subscribers. I don't know if that's still what it is now because I've passed that stage. I don't know, but I'm just, yeah. this is what it was even a year ago, a few months back, and your watch hour, just like we are filming this video now, people watch your videos for 4,000 hours. Right. Yeah. So the, in your studio, there is a place where they show you, if people have watched your video for 4,000 hours, you will see that this the whatever we close, that you've reached mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. And if you have gotten up to 1,000 subscribers, you will see that, yes, you've gotten up to 1,000 subscribers. Now they will not send you the congratulations. I knew how it felt mm. when I got that, that your, your channel is now um, accepted into the YouTube partnership. Your channel is going to be monetized. They will send you all sorts of things for you to complete and so on. And I knew how excited I was because it took me four months for my channel to be monetized. Months, yes, you yes. broke record now. So, no, for that in one month, their channel got monetized. So, and you know, no way. Hey, people, I'm not saying everybody, most of them are not patient when the goings are not going away. Mm. 
<laughs> I don't know if you get my point. Because yeah. the yeah. I used to next week monetization, or maybe next month, we spent three good months plus. No, I think four months, almost four months plus for our, my channel. I have a friend that we started the journey together, Ella. We spent around the same time for our channel to be monetized. So I'm um, so... uh when it got monetized, we were expecting our first <laughs> first thousands in the next month. And when we knew YouTube gave us $12, $10, and we were like discouraged. But at the same time, I was discouraged. I was like, I'll be the whole month. YouTube pay me $12. <laughs> Look at the time and everything I put in. But you know, that thing or oh, that Z in me that I wanted to help. I wanted to help. I wanted people to, to get. So I just kept going, kept going. And before I knew it, <laughs> I started earning up to 100. No, I, I think the first one that I got that I was dancing was 50 pounds. Next thing, 180 something pounds. There are about 400, 500, 800. Like it just kept going, but it's not like it's constant. It's just fluctuates. But now yes. it's not just about that. I would say YouTube has done me a lot of goodies. Look at the the, the 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 companies I advertise for. Yeah. If I wasn't on the space, they won't see me to use me as their yeah. brand ambassador. So they pay yeah. me for the adverts. So yeah. now there are other things. I do my consultation, and for you to have a consultation with me, it's forty pounds for forty minutes, or forty thousand mm. for forty five minutes. You know. Now because I'm in that space, you can see apart from the earnings from YouTube. There are other earnings that are coming. So this is how you can utilize. Like you can, you can earn in different ways. And some other people contact me for review just to write a review. They pay me, depends on how much I charge them. And they still give me that product for free. Yes. Yeah, you know, yes. the decks I advertise and everything. That deck is about 500 and something pounds. They still paid me to advertise. And I still got that deck. So there are so many ways you can make money on YouTube. Mm. So don't focus on the earnings because the earnings, like I said, I my first earnings was $12 a month. A month. Imagine a month of consistency. And at the end of the month, you just get $12. But you know, I told myself, even when I got that $12, I said, look at, I've been using my phone to do everything. I use my phone to film. I have a camera, but because of my kids, by the time I was set up, that time I used to set up, I would have used to film my videos. So I stick to my phone camera. And I was, I was telling my husband and my friend, I said, you know what? This $12 means a lot to me. I can add it to mm. the internet bill. A month. Yeah. That was how I saw it. It grew again yes. to $50. I said, ah, this is actually my internet bill a month. So if I'm doing this and I'm getting my internet bill a month from YouTube, then it's something. And people are also getting yeah. testimonies. So that yes. was the mindset I put towards it. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. now <laughs> I I can pay that by twelve dollars uh, internet bill in hundred folds without even you know because of how mm -hmm. I started I didn't really put that money 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 in. If I had put in yes. that money money, I would have dropped out of YouTube by now because the the money is not really encouraging. It's yes. other benefits that comes from it. Yes. That's the main thing. It Hmm. you've got a good heart <laughs> and i just pray that god bless you no you know it's a lot of people that will come and tell you that oh, my first youtube was 12 dollars and i will break it down you are a fantastic teacher by the way i don't know if you've ever heard about that you're a fantastic teacher yeah, yeah. Thank you, very you much. are a great great teacher you know how to simplify things for people to understand and you are generous very given and I'm not just saying this because you're here, but it's yeah. just something that I know. It's everybody that will come here that will tell you. They'll keep it like his one ancient secret like that that we don't want to. <laughs> but the way you've been so open <laughs> and authentic in this interview, I really want to say thank you. Thank, thank you. you for that. You know. Thank you. And for people out there, <laughs> Nigeria has told you, yeah. don't let money be the first thing. Sit yeah. down and think why am i doing this if not you get overwhelmed you get frustrated you know yeah. me i'm a counselor yeah. you will come and see me and they will start having sessions so if yeah. you don't want to get frustrated because of something that you want to use to help people i would say define your purpose know your why know what you can commit to give values 
and you will get value back in return. She has yeah. broken it down. I don't know anybody that will tell us this on how things can be monetized. So you find a way now to generate extra income, but please let that not be your first drive, money, money, money. Yeah. Just maintain your focus, create value, mind the people you are collaborate with and know what you are doing going forward and you know someone is full of gratitude look at your mindset regarding that like i didn't say that just 12 dollars you already shining into something very very good and you were able to feel good <laughs> about that some people that will be the last day you see there you say me i spent five five hours Seven. That's 10 hours in a week. Yeah. Giving you information and what you are doing is $12. And people don't even pay short. Goodbye. I'm not doing anymore. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I say don't don't put that money as a first thing. Like I my husband would say, when I'm when I'm kind of really tired and I'm upset, we like go and edit a video because he sees the passion. He said he has never see, mm -hmm. seen anything that I'm so passionate about, like filming and editing so sometimes when i'm over we're like just go and edit a video and once i start editing my video you see me i'm so focused i'm mm -hmm. like into it so it's like something that i'm known for now in the family anytime i'm like oh go and edit a video <laughs> you'll find something like in in counseling we call that uh, something that give you a flow yeah. Give you a flow that you can lose track of time doing it. You are enjoying it so much that you don't feel any stress. Yeah, no. You are just in your zone yeah. and you're flowing with it. Yeah. So that just is beautiful. Thank you, Fajira. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think we are going to end um, this session here. You've already given us your final word. And, you know, on behalf of my viewers and myself, I will say thank you again. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Abby having me here and thank you our beautiful viewers and please also stay tuned to abby's channel she's got a lot like when i mean a lot she's got a lot so stay glued to her thank you thank you so if you've not subscribed right you need to subscribe because we're going to be bringing different people that will share their story so that when you are here when you see people right there at the top you need to know their story so that whatever stage you are at you know that it's not going to be forever one day as well, you are able to tell your own story and you inspire other people. There are seasons in life, it's not always the same. You know, things come that will bump you up, things come that will make you stronger, that will make you more resilient. So until I come your way again on my diaspora journey, I remember Abia Sonia. So thank you so much and enjoy your day. <laughs> Bye.